What's going on guys, John Elder here from Conobie.com and in this video, we're going to look at sliders for Kivi and Python. Alright guys, like I said, in this video, we're going to look at sliders. But before we get started, if you like this video and want to see more like it, be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to that channel, give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm, and check out Codemy.com where I have dozens of courses with hundreds of videos that teach you to code. Use coupon code YouTube1 to get $30 off membership with all my courses, videos, and books for one time fee at just $49, which is insanely cheap. Okay, like I said, in this video, we're going to look at sliders. And we're just going to build a basic little slider here that we can move around, and it will tell us the you know, the number of the slider, we're at 25 here, we're at 50 here. And we'll also sort of update the text to the size of the slider as well. So at least we're kind of doing something slidery instead of just learning what the slider is. So that's what we're going to look at in this video. I've got two files, slider.py and slider.kv. These are basic KV starter code that we always have. I'm using the Sublime Text Editor and the Git Bash Terminal as always. All right, it is Monday morning here in Vegas and uh, Christmas this week in a few days, Friday, I guess. So very fun. We're going to try and still get some work done this week, but you know, it's Christmas, so we'll see how it goes. So we're going to start out here. If you're going to do your slider stuff in your Python file, like we're not, we're going to use our Kivi file over here like we always do. But if you're going to just use one file, like we've done sort of at the very beginning of this playlist, you're going to need to import this. So you would go from kivi.uix.slider, you want to import slider. Uh, like I said, that's if you're just using this Python file, we're not going to, so we don't need to do this. We're going to do everything in our Kivi file. So head over here to our Kivi file. I've got a box layout started. It's going to set it vertical, set the size to the root width and the root height. So it's, you know, it expands to the entire size of the app. And let's start out by creating a basic label because we're going to need to put some text on the screen. And I'm going to give this an ID of slider underscore label. And we can give this a text of, I don't know, slide the slider, right? Or whatever. And I'm going to go ahead and give this a font underscore size of 32 just to start out. Now we'll change this as the slider moves, but for now that should do the trick. Now we also need a slider. And with a slider, you need to set the min and the max. So what do you want this to start at? You can start it at zero, you can start it at one, you can start it at, you know, 100, whatever you want, or a thousand. I'm going to start ours at one, and we want it to go up to, let's say, 50. So the slider will start at one, it'll end at 50 or start at one and end at 50. Yeah. And so as you slide it, it'll obviously move around. Now there's a couple, strictly speaking, this is all you have to do, but there are a couple of other things you can set. So we can set the step and this is every time you move it, how how far does it move? I just want it to move one. So from one to two to three to four, you could say we want it to move in five increments. So it would go one, five, 10, 15, 20, you know, you could do, 50 increments. So it would go from one to 50 when you moved it, right? It would just go one to 50. So uh, we'll set that at one. Now we can also set the orientation, right? And this can be vertical or horizontal, right? So we want it to start out a horizontal. If you don't put this on here, it assumes you want it horizontal left to right. Vertical is up and down and we'll play around with this to see that what each of them look like, but we want to start out with horizontal. So it goes left to right. And that's basically it. So now we need to set the on underscore value. And so this is sort of like when you press a button and we, we do on press, this is on value. And what we want to do here is call root and let's call the slide it function. We don't have that yet. We'll create it. And we want to pass in args. These are arguments. And this will basically pass in two things here. It'll pass in the name of the slider, which is a weird, Python object looking thing that's not very useful. And it'll also pass the number. So as it slides and it moves between one, two, three, four, five, it'll pass that number into the args here. So, okay, now we need to create this function. So let me copy this. Let me save this file. Head back over to our slider.py file. And in our my layout widget, let's define slide it. And this is going to pass self. And it's also going to pass, uh, let's say, star args. And the reason why we put an, a star in front of this is standard procedure. You know, you always put a star in front of the args. This will sort of break apart the args into different items, basically. So it'll pass these two items. There'll be two items when we put star. So now let's just print out these args just to see what is being returned here. So let's go python slider.py. And when we do, we get this thing. We can move this around a little bit and close it. Now it'll print out to the terminal. You can see it's basically returning a tuple with two items, the sort of the, the name of the slider, this weird object, 
and then the value that it's returning. Now, this is kind of weird. In the past, when I've done this, it, it prints out a float, you know, decimal 2.675, whatever, not an integer. But for some reason, it's spitting out an integer now. So, okay. Uh, but in the future, we're going to treat this as a, if it's a float just to make sure. So we'll convert it into an integer, even though it's returning it as an integer now. So we can see there's two items of a tuple. We know how to grab a certain item in a tuple. Right, we would just pull like this, and the first one is the zeroth item, the second one is the first item. So we can just print that out if we want, make sure that works. So we could run this again, and we can pull it up. And when we do, we see it returns these numbers. So now it's just a matter of transferring that back to the app in some way. And we've done that lots of times, but this is a slightly a little bit different. We need to, let's head over here to our slider.kv file. And up here at the top, let's sort of define let's call this, I don't know, slide underscore text. And we're gonna set that equal to slider underscore label, which is this guy right here. So now we can reference this in our Python file to print out the stuff. So let me just comment this out. So we can go self that slide text dot text. And we wanna set that equal to this string because we always wanna pass these as strings. And let's also convert this to an integer, even though it looked like an integer, I wanna just make sure, right? And then we want to pass inside of that our args. So, okay, let's go ahead and save this and run it. And Python slider.py. And now as we slide this around, we can see it changes to whatever we want, whatever we have slid it to. So pretty easy and just that simple. Now we can sort of play with this. We can go self dot slide underscore text dot, then we can call font size, right? And we can set that equal to this whole thing, right? And if we save this and run it now, it will at least sort of seem like our slider is doing something, right? So we start here at one, the text is very small, one to the right seven, nine, ten, as it, and it gets bigger as we go. And if that doesn't blow your hair back, we can play around with this number a little bit. We could, instead of just doing the number, we could take it, for instance, maybe like times five or something. So we save this and run it. Now, instead of one, it'll be five. Instead of 10, it'll be 50. And you can see, boom, now it's much bigger. And uh, I don't know, it's kind of fun, right? <laughs> uh, so just a, a silly example, but uh, kind of cool. Now, I mentioned earlier, we can change the orientation. So we've got it set to horizontal. We can set it to vertical if we want, right? So we can just save that as vertical. We'll go ahead and run this one more time. And now our slider is going up and down. So whatever your app requires, you know, GUI wise, Design wise, you can use either one. So uh, that's pretty cool and uh, pretty easy. So I'm gonna go ahead and change this back. Save it and run it one more time just for fun. Woohoo! <laughs> right? I don't know, it's very satisfying. <laughs> I could do this all day. Woo! Ah! It's Christmas week, what can I tell you? So that's all for this video. If you liked it, be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm, and check out codemy.com where you can use coupon code YouTube1 to get $30 off memberships. They pay just $49 to access all my courses, over 47 courses, hundreds of videos, and the PDFs of all my best selling coding books. Join over 100,000 students learning to code just like you. My name is John Elder from codemy.com, and I'll see you in the next video.